Along with the rise of the Steadicam and other similar products came the search for other stabilization techniques. Ongoing improvements to camera technology prompted the manufacturers to look into innovative solutions to the problem of steady shots. The systems were first introduced to enable better still photography, but with the rise of the DSLR video revolution, the same technology was able to be utilized in all shooting situations. This led to a number of solutions, including Optical image stabilization. This is where the sensor, or sometimes the lens, is internally designed to move in a way that counteracts the operator's movements holding the camera, resulting in a steadier image. This technology was introduced to DSLRs in the mid-1990s and is being refined and improved upon with current digital camera technology. Post-production stabilization. Even if you cannot stabilize the range of motion during the shoot, there are software-based methods to stabilize the image on your computer. The software analyzes the video, calculates the range of motion, and adjusts the frame in various ways to smooth the image. Some of them are standalone software. Some of them are plugins for your editing software, like New Blue Stabilizer. And some of them are built into your editing software, like Adobe's own Warp Stabilizer. Finally, this brings us to the gyroscope and gimbal. This form of technology has been utilized since before the 12th century. In fact, its origins are unknown, but an early use was for mounting compasses in boats that would maintain a straight and level operation, crucial for an accurate reading, even in rough waters. The basic principle of a three-axis gimbal is that it maintains a fixed, stable position, allowing an object contained within the system to counteract and compensate for changes in pitch, yaw, and roll. The system makes multiple micro-adjustments to maintain a straight, level, and stabilized image through brushless gimbal motors. These are small magnet-driven motors that work in unison, one or more tuned for each axis. They communicate with an electric circuit board with a gyroscope chip that is configured to recognize the pitch, roll, and yaw of the object it is attached to, and send signals to the motors to counteract any movements that divert from a stable three-axis orientation. Simply put, the controller board and motors counteract human motion to maintain a stable perspective for the camera contained within the stabilizer. The origin of this particular rig-based setup began as a large component attached to helicopters and aircraft used to film for movies. The components were heavy enough to maintain the weight of large movie cameras. As the technology was made smaller and more portable, this was adapted to be used in radio-controlled kits for drones, planes and more. Anything that needed to adjust for something in motion to maintain a smoother operation. In 2013, a company adapted the technology that was in wide use for airborne devices and configured it for handheld use, bringing the same technology in a size and shape that camera operators could directly manipulate. The launch was a great success, and the era of the handheld gimbal stabilizer was born. Over time, many companies have released similar equipment covering stabilization for smaller cameras, such as the GoPro, or even smartphones, and matching the rise of drone technology for video usage. The SteadyMaker Tank Plus now joins this market to move stabilization technology forward.